What's going on? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about NEO. I want to give you a quick overview of some of the data points, what really moved it, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So NEO did get hit kind of hard today, down 7.07%. 667 the low and then 699 the high um, as far as volume still a lot of volume so kind of a good thing but 98.49 million shares being traded 80.8 is the average no actual news from neo itself no sec filings so it was kind of just piggybacking off of the broader market there was a couple of things that really affected neo and other chinese uh, stocks one of which was this right here so i guess just fizzling the enthusiasm as what's stated right here which in general i kind of agree with any stock running up as much as what's been happening you're going to have a certain level of profit taking but at the same time there was this right here and i didn't want to hit refresh so this is from my pre-market video or my earlier video where i talked on how the tariffs so european tariffs are essentially back on the table and so that's one of the big things that really did boost NEO higher. And previously it was set at 100%. This new round is estimated to be around 45%. So it's not as bad, but still not the best. And some people saying that this is FUD and whatever else. And even in my last video, I guess someone's trying to find this article and I guess they deleted it. So this is why I don't want to hit refresh. I still have it up essentially. And it kind of makes sense. This isn't the first time that Reuters has said wrong information and deleted their article. But one thing that I found very interesting was also this article that did come out. Sorry for all the ads all around here, but it says hedge funds now begin facing more unexpected margin calls. A lot of Chinese, especially EVs, are very heavily shorted. So when it comes down to stocks running up as much as, for instance, NEO has over the last little bit, shorts feel the pain. And obviously, I give you guys updates on shorts. Much of the time, shorts have been returning. But who's to say maybe one of these entities or hedge funds could cr have created this false article just to lay the FUD down, cause a sell-off, and then delete this article. So I don't know, maybe there's a coincidence, maybe there's not, but we do know that shorts have been lingering with Neo for a while. When I did my earlier morning video, shorts at the time I think were returning like 200 something thousand shares. By the end of the day, they did increase 1.15 million. So kind of adding a lot of uh, downward pressure of course but 12.6 percent of the free flow is being shorted works it to be 168.22 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is 4.09 percent and then utilization is 93.36 percent moving over to options 12 million in calls 3.72 million in puts so still a lot of money was getting into neo through options 43 percent of all the options being done today were optimistic and bullish but with shorts increasing some of that might just be hedging um, typically the first strike price is just hedging and whatever but this is all the call options that were purchased today so the seven dollar strike price you kind of have to take with a grain of salt because like i said that could be just hedging from shorts above that though is true optimism so 758 and so yeah, kind of good stuff uh, as far as that. You still do see, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe just psychologically people are targeting $10, but there's been a lot of abnormal options around that $10 strike price. So I don't know, if you guys are doing that, let me know why potentially. But like again, as I do bring up, uh, actually, I brought that up actually over the last couple of videos quite a lot, but $10 seems to be a very popular thing for whatever reason. Of the puts that were purchased today, you see a consensus for it to be kind of sub 650, so more of a continuation of a breakdown. These are some of the transactions that did occur on the secondary market above $100,000. So you saw the selling for the most part at the beginning of the morning, so that's what caused this a uh, lot of volatility right here and then quickly going back over here you had some buying around the nine and eleven dollar range near the tail end as well so yeah honestly it's uh, kind of mixed no different than the last couple of trading days you've had some buying some selling the biggest thing and driving factor for neo has been algorithmic trading and with a lot of fud articles algos pick up on all of that and that's probably why there's been a lot of suppression again with neo but 
with it closing at $6.70. It is right above this R1. So going forward into the next uh, couple trading days, 669 will be a strong support to watch for. And it kind of was landed on that, like I said. So 667 was the low for today. So again, just kind of watch for that. 707 is going to be the next strong resistance slash target on the actual chart itself still above all the key pivotal and moving averages higher percentile stochastic you do see it at 74 so still considered overbought so the first sign of weakness whether it be because of fud such as this or whatever else profit taking you are going to see a pullback and lo and behold that's kind of what did happen today still bigger picture though as long as it has uh, continued higher highs and higher lows still fairly good for the technicals today shows that number of retail investors did get out so institutions were somewhat mixed but retail just said i'm out so if that is you why do you think that the whole hype associated to chinese stocks is over and done with or do you think that maybe because of tomorrow's unemployment rate coming from the states that's really going to cause a significant pullback i don't know well why did you guys sell uh, or potentially flip side if you guys did buy let me know why do you think that today's sell-off was a overreaction or whatever else so yeah let me know your thoughts there's a lot of kind of mystery when it comes to neo i've been stating time and time again just looking at on the multiple standpoint it is a very big discount play so i think this run recently kind of brought light and attention to it from big institutions and then of course with the whole rate cut and then stimulus coming from china Think that's just once again drawing even more attention to neo but whenever you have a lot of attention you have a lot of manipulation coming from shorts and a lot of profit taking swing traders right a lot of people get in and out within the same day just they want a couple of cents that's their moral of the end of uh, the day so yeah let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo simply sign up for a new account throw 100 dollars at it they give you five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars this is a kick-ass deal link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you guys watching